I think it's a grand and glorious thing that Skyfall is coming out on the, the 50th anniversary of, of Dr. No, because it is a movie that is about who James Bond is in a modern world. And that, I think, is the secret of the success of the entire franchise. Barbara Broccoli and Michael Wilson and Cubby Broccoli have been very brave about letting him exist in his world. People say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's probably a formula for complacency in our business, which can lead to the end of the series. So I think we're always looking for ways to give it new life and to rejuvenate it. I sat down with Sam and we talked about Bond. We talked about Live and Let Die being our first Bond movie we saw in the cinema. We talked about the early movies. We talked about golfing. And I felt an immediate connection to somebody who had exactly the same enthusiasm and respect for it that I did. This began before I was born, you know, so people have a life's experience and relationship with the character, with the franchise. Everybody you ask has different memories and favourites about the Bond films. With each film you try to create something special. But they started with Dr. No and they set the bar very high. There was a mixture of sex and violence, which I think at the time hit a nerve in audiences, i.e. that they liked it. But my mother disapproved of Bond to the extent that she had my father tear up a copy of The Man with the Golden Gun. 50 years is a long time for any series of film. I remember going to see the first one at the cinema. Who would have thought 50 years later they're still doing it? It's marvelous first role of show business, know your audience. And Cubby, he knew the audience for a Bond film. He knew what they were expecting, and he knew how to deliver it, and we just keep trying to do what he did. Mm -hmm.